We're in the shitter. We're in the shitter. We're gonna we're gonna go for reinforcements, obviously. We're gonna prioritize our boys fighting down here. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. Uh, we've built one of these new brute ships. Uh, should have probably done that sooner. Probably should have. Uh, no, not the entire. Probably should have improved the batteries. And light batteries four. And what did I had? Mine, 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 mines. Wait, where did I put minor rails? No, I put them somewhere. It's a fire control system. That's mine sweeping here. I need mine placing here. Oh, there it is. Okay, mine warfare. Uh, no, it's the same. What did I upgrade? I upgraded something. Was it the sonar? Is that sonar two? And oh, I have got better engines. Fire control systems are the same. Torpedoes, same. Okay, that's that's okay. I think. Let's go. This is better. Let's ship hull C. Build it. Sorry for a uh, little inefficiency there, boys, but. Aye, it happens to the best of us. Our finest hour, what childish fantasy. Ooh, a book by Ernst Jünger. Ernst Jünger, one of our accomplished generals, is also a successful author. Today his newest book came out <laughs> just as he went out over the border. Uh, in the homeland, Auf der Marmorklippen, of, on, on the marble cliffs. It's a novel full of sometimes obscure symbolism, magic, and the inner hidden workings of life itself. Set in a fantasy world, the rich, art-loving civilization of Marina is living in peace next to the martial nomads of the steppes. Two brothers are the protagonists of the story who try to stop the Oberforster, the chief uh, ranger, from slowly overtaking the beautiful town of Marina. More and more nomads are listening to the Oberforster, who acts jovial at first, but soon proves to be a cold, power-hungry murderer. The people of Marina are stopping to listen to their poets, their values and spirits decay. When the two brothers find a cabin in the woods where the Oberforster's henchmen murder their victims, they try to rise up against the villain, but to no avail. Only the magic allows them to escape. They have to set fire to, the, uh, to their house on the cliffs of marble and their lives work watching the city of Marina burn on the horizon, returning to a state of fatalism. The book has gained mixed reviews. While some praise it for its elaborate aesthetics and the insight in the, in the way the world works, some readers more interested in the political implications of the Marmor Klippen are wondering if it is supposed to be Ernst Jünger's commentary on the harsh reality of Middle African politics. Jünger himself didn't comment on it, but his brother's brother, Friedrich Georg, Georg, a poet, said that it's a shoe that fits various feet. Great. Okay, we've read that. Get, get my troops in. West Indies Union? What? Did, did, is that... A thing also. Oh my god, they even have... Wow, look at this guy's hat. These guys have a freaking focus tree. I can't believe it. Can't believe it. Come on, where is Ernst Jünger? How long will it take for him to get there? 1st of June. Oh my god, he's taking so long. He's traveling all the way through the jungles. Through the jungles. Right, priorities. We take lost VP... Surround these boys with Durban, if we can. And then push down towards Port Elizabeth and Cape Town. That seems like a plan. That seems like a plan. Oh shit, okay. These boys are losing badly. And I don't have the supplies to send them. Damnation. Uh, first, come on. 31st. Can't even send the Air Force in, for God's sake. Can send 14. Well, send. Right. 14 of my best. 14 of my best. Get get them over there. We're in Pretoria. We're moving this way. Let's go. Ernst Younger. Still not there. He'll be there in nine days. Uh, we need a field marshal as well. We'll, um, we'll promote somebody. We'll promote his, him. 
Ooh, okay, we're under attack. But we'll hold the line here. There we go. Now let's push. Let's see if we can attack. Yeah, if we can uh, cut these guys off. Oh, my boys. My boys arrived. My boys arrived. Let's go. Need some air support here, boys. We're pushing them and we don't even have Ernst Younger yet in command. A military delegation from Ost Asian. Ooh, that's that's nice. Um right now I want infantry attack. That's gonna help. I'm gonna try to stem the tide. Don't even know what these guys are doing. They have good mission efficiency though. We're at 40 stability. Or yeah, we're blasting through their division. Because we've got air superiority and all that. But no air support. That is weird. I'm gonna try and encircle these boys here first. We take Blumenfontein and take Kimberly. Then we're gonna push down south to Durban and port then along the coast. Oh, Ernst Junger is here. Ernst Junger is here. He's gonna save us now. Oh, we've actually got some support this time. Weiter, weiter. Alright, we're about to push them back. Though our organization has suffered. It has suffered. We've suffered some losses. Uh, also, I should put priority on these guys, right? And uh, negative priority on these. There we go. We've taken it. Now let's rest a bit there. Because they've fortified Blumenfontein quite well. They're going to try and counterattack, definitely, obviously. They'll definitely do that. You left this open. Oh, that's that's a given. That's a given. I need to defend here, and that's a given. That is a freaking... And that's also an airport. Oh, rare base. Okay, we need to hold here for as long as we can. Because these guys have no supplies. Literally no supplies. That's a, gi that's a given chance to take Durban. But these guys are going to attack me constantly here. I'm going to inflict losses on them. Ah, oh, choices and dilemmas. Okay, they, they seem to have relented a bit. Let's go. Let's move those boys. Move it faster. Yeah, we're withdrawing this time. Are we drawing at this time to this position because we're going to be broken there? If we don't. And that's a given. That would be a great encirclement. It would relieve a lot of pressure. Oh, it's not a given. Land crisis in Kenyan highlands. Allowing German settlement in the highlands of Kenya has only exacerbated the problems in the region, as it has set off land speculation, the, with prices rising un, out of control, and conflicts and disputes breaking out over the demarcation of a few meters of land. To make matters worse for the local Kikuyu tribes, a man is not considered an adult until he owns at least some land. There are tri tribal territories set aside for this, but they are massively overcrowded, with most of them owing, owning no land and working on British plantations. Additionally, an increasing amount of land within... Kiku labor? Ooh. If I use Kiku labor for land reclamation... I'm gonna break up these, I'll sacrifice that, I'll break up the British. Because I've uh, 
hit Kikuyu hard enough. We need to get someone out. And I'm already doing everything against Britain, so might as well, I guess. Alright, let's attack here, can we? Is it going to be a plausibility? They are defending there. They are defending there, definitely. Don't have that much organization, so I'm going to stop that. Okay, we bought some time for these guys to reorganize, I guess. Okay, I can send artillery and... Uh, I'm building artillery, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to send... Not vol volunteers. Uh, start land lease. I'm going to give them... 30%... 30% of our monthly production. We're going to give them... Uh, 40 of these boys. Boom. There we go. I'm gonna actually modify it, modify it. Ah, uh, I can't modify it now. I'm gonna give them rifles as well. It's important for for them to win this war. Can we attack here now? Twenty-four. Just want to see. Now it's twenty-three. Twenty-four. It's because there's two divisions there. No, no, stop the attack. It's not going well. Uh, edit. Modify land lease. We're going to give him 80% of our rifle production. Because we need a 20% for our own division that we're fighting. Alright, we're going to send you a lot of equipment, boys. You must use it. Okay, we got German education for the children. Let's get rid of the British settlers. Who's declaring? Commune of France, fuck off. That's declaring on Germany, not me. Right, I'm gonna attack there. Okay, so we're gonna be done with the British soon. Our stability could be higher. Could be higher. But hey, what can we do? Los, los, los. Schnell. Katapurkov. How many rifles am I sending them a month? 200. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be okay. We we need to support them. They don't have them factories to produce stuff. Their divisions are pretty good. I don't see they, them using that much artillery, though. No, none artillery at all. It's just infantry, militia, 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 and recon. Okay, we're gonna switch it up a bit. Gonna leave one here, two there, one here, two there. Let's change it up. They're not using artillery. Uh, okay, we're, we're, we'll send the artillery for this month, and then after that we're going to change it. Because they need much more support equipment, and we need the artillery purely for ourselves right now. Just need to send them stuff for this month in 13 days okay 
so soon. Come on, stop the attack. I'm about to move into that province. And they're gonna send reinforcements. And great, I just get instantly destroyed because of that. And now they're moving in first divisions. Congrats! That was a fine move. That was a fine move, you dickheads. Nine days. Come on. No, fuck. Okay, never mind. Change. Change your plans. Let's try to get this pocket out of here. Let's try to get him out of there. Russia's still holding on, but barely. They're gonna lose. Though France is preparing for a war against Germany. So there is that. How many divisions? Two. But one is militia and one's cavalry, so we can we can take it on. Okay, we're sending them four hundred rifles. 400 rifles. You're getting 400 rifles. Distribute them evenly. On one day. Any time. Okay, there we go. Modify land lease. Get rid of artillery and put 80% uh, of this. There we go. That's better. That's gonna help them more. Damocles project. Yep, uh, these guys just got. They got uh, filled up with equipment. If only we had, we, if only we had that airport down there. Okay. Tight as in and Come on, take it. Take it. Yeah, we're gonna be sending them a lot of rifles per month. Our boys on their own, over here are just like, where are all our rifles? Well, they're going, they're they're being sent to the Boers in order for them to keep on fighting. What about the manpower? Oh, we're losing that war of attrition. But we, they've uh, they've caught up with us when it comes to losses, so that is a good sign. Also, it appears that there's one division there. Yeah, that's that's right. That's one division. I'm gonna push them out. I'm gonna push them out. Uh, is Ernst getting leader? Yep, that's his trait. He's getting it. Let's let's force attack it. Let's break them. It's cavalry, so I want them to break faster. Can I put anyone in charge? Nope. Uh, static kind of guns and butter doctrine of autonomy, doctrine of autonomy, guns and butter. Meh. Not that great. Not terrible. Look, 
convoy sailing. Crab convoy escorts. We've made, made them withdraw or stop attacking us, you bitches. Stop attacking us, you assholes. Thank you. We're taking Kimberly. Defend to the last man. We've taken the pro. We've got the advantage. They're attacking across the river. I need some reinforcements, boys. If you, if you, if you please. If you please, some send some. Why are you holding these troops back? Yes, thank you. Send some forces up. Don't know how long will it last. We're stretching on our fumes here. And you've sent... Come on. How long till you get here? Two days. I have to hold for two days. Can't hold for shit. Come on, 20 hours, 15 hours, they're, they're here, oh god, okay. Oh, that was close. Alright, Kimberly is ours. They're now threatening Pretoria. Are my supplies coming? Yep, they're coming. Slowly but surely. We're keeping these good sods, poor sods alive. Right, I'm gonna withdraw here because we're being stretched out. Yeah, their losses are now higher than ours. What these boys don't have in industry will make up with land lease. There's one division there. I'm gonna attack. We need a bridgehead. I went there to save Kimberly, or to take Kimberly. And these divisions from the back should be moved to the front. I, I, I realize that there, there's a need for strategic reserves sometimes, but... Let's counterattack right there. My Air Force is doing some mighty fine work. Let's check their stats. They've bombed 9.1 troops. They haven't lost anyone. That's some good efficiency. Right, we're gonna stop that attack. Don't have organization. And we finished the deal with the British. And start attracting the Flemish investors. And there's Great War 2. Electric Boogaloo. Okay, let's attack there. Got advanced machine tools, that's just great. Oh, that's too far ahead. Let's grab this. I think I'm gonna end the episodes here. I've been recording for two hours. Uh, should be four 30 minutes episodes. I'm giving you guys a present. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.